Hey guys, Wondering Shell here, and once again we're going to be doing another Marvel United painting, uh, this time with the Phoenix 5, Colossus. He's actually one of my favorite Marvel heroes slash bad guy. According to this, he's a bad guy in Phoenix 5. I don't know. I never really got into the big comic book Marvelness, but I do like painting, so here we are. Um, I started out with Shining Silver, or God is Silver, either one. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and Chris Colossus, he is a humanoid metal guy. He's a very shiny metal guy. If you ever seen the movie Deadpool, um, he's in it. Uh, he's actually in the original X-Men movies. He was the one who... I think he was in the second one? I think? Where he was carrying the TV. If you guys remember that one, he was carrying a TV. It was the second one. Because he was carrying the TV and like the military is grabbing the kids. So he had to protect the kids. I guess that was his younger days. Um, when he, he was Little Colossus. Now he's Big Colossus in the Deadpool series. Hmm. Because they do kind of go together. Um, he wasn't in Days of Future Past or anything like that. But in movies, that's where he was at. And he has a... He's interesting, that's for sure. I mean, I've seen, I remember seeing him in the comp, like the cartoons and stuff. Um, Magneto really liked him because he could manipulate him very easily. He's made out of metal. As long as he doesn't transform, then he is normal. Interesting, right? Anyway, so. Let's get back to the painting. <laughs> um, he's literally shining silver for most of the metal that he's in. And then I did matte black. Um, right in, the, it's like in his cuffs, it's black. Honestly, you could do a off black, like the necromancer cloak. Um, that was a little off black versus what this is. This is pure black, even when you're doing the tones, it stays like this. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. Oh, I love having new paint brushes. Look how, look how precise that is. Oh, I love it. Um, what were we talking about again? Oh, sorry. Um, so I went to matte black doing all those little cuffs, the cuffs, and then like, the parts that I'm missing right here, it's actually going to be gold. You'll see later on. forget his belt. His belt is black. I did forget he has like gold pieces on the cup on the belt. But uh, I think he has enough gold as it, it, it's gonna be. I feel like there was just too much of it, if you know what I mean. You'll see. And then here I did rough iron for his hair. A mm, little bit of black. Just to give it a little darkerness. Um his hair is black, um, but it's a metal color. So I thought I was like, well, I want to still keep that metal color. So I use rough iron, mix a little, like a dot of black. And it made it kind of, kind of interesting. It made it all black, unfortunately. At least that's what it looks like to me. Uh, but you'll see when I'm doing the highlights, I did just use um, rough iron for his highlights. Next is Dragon Red for kind of like the cloth, yeah. his pants, and there's a piece on his shirt that's red also, so I had to make that red. Yep, right there. Itty bitty spot. He kind of looks like a, like a gladiator almost with this. I don't know if that was their intention, because if it was, good job. If it wasn't, you need to work on that. Of course, 
his his uh knee brace and his his boots basically are the red and the gold kind of intertwined so you got to be careful how you're doing it I know some people just paint the whole thing in one color and then go back and paint it again but I really want to make sure that gold pops especially in the what's nice is the white um, base helps it pop more if you always if you keep in mind when you're doing like even base coats I mean this is a base coat but when you're doing like the primer there's different kind of primers out there different colors um, I like to use the white prim primers because you can see the colors pop more when it's painted on I've seen people use uh, black primers or even green ones um, that is something to keep in mind when you're painting that if you want like a bright kind of like a comic book feel to it and that's what I feel like for this I went with the white primer if you want like um, dark and bold kind of like a Batman like DC I would go with the black primer because it has more bold colors more darkness to it kind of think of what your where you're going with your character do you want it cutesy and cartoony or do you want it dark and bold so it's something to keep in mind and there's even other colors like red and green even blue out there um, my advice when you come with blue if it's like a water or aqua colored character that might be ideal for it so something to keep in mind even before you even get to the base colors is your primer uh, next is all that gold uh, I've been working on his legs and we're gonna work up work up to the big parts For the past two groups, it seems like I've been using gold a lot more compared to what I used to, which is kind of interesting to think about how certain colors are used a lot more compared to others when it comes uh, to these characters and stuff. Like, I feel like I've noticed that gold is used a lot more with like the villains versus the heroes, which is interesting to think about. I had to switch over to a thinner brush just so I could get paint those details in. And boy, those layers were not my friend. It looks cool, but not my friend when it comes to the painting part of this. spots, especially when it's closer to his neck. Almost there. And now we're up to his base. So according to the base, at least what it looks like, it looks very rocky, very stone-like. So if you don't have a paint for stone, like dark stone or something, ash gray is a nice alternative. Um, that can make kind of like a nice rock look to it, which helps. Almost there. I don't know if you guys are getting the glitching, but I know when I'm recording this, there is a big glitch, so I do apologize on that. Uh, new color is going to be oak brown. Uh, that's for kind of like the little rocks or the dirt of it um, at the bottom there, just to fill it in the gaps. I 
than the good old strong tone to make everything dark. Um, I like to do that with the evil guys, uh, make them the dark tones. Um, if I ever get back to doing a hero again, which I forgot how to do a hero at this point, I probably would do a soft tone for them uh, just to make them look lighter, look happier, even though it's it's weird. <laughs> okay, it's weird. But for the tones, it does take a while for it to dry. Um, I did go back with my brush just to make sure it doesn't pull. So I tried doing a the silver for his hair, but it just does not look right. So I went back and just painted it the rough iron again. Back with the silver for his face. Make it all nice and shiny. Except, like, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the highlighting for our faces. It's very hard. And then I did go back to all the little spots there. Um, all the raised spots. I kind of put more paint on to make it brighter, highlight it. I try not to get where the indents are because that's the detailing that's on him. So I had to make sure not to get to that, not hit those spots. Because he's supposed to be a very shiny metal guy. So I had to try and make sure not to get in the grooves. Even like his fists, where like it punches up, I gotta make sure that stays dark, because um, it gives it more of a dimension, more of a look to it. Uh, so something to keep in mind with that. Try to go over to make sure I get all the spots on him, and then the red. Same same thing. Uh, make sure anything that's raised, I hit it with another paint of red. Because it is a raised spot. Um, you can tell with the back a little bit more. There. Try to make it so it looks like it's a little bit more colored because it's raised. And what happens with the tone also, it makes it um, pull. And sometimes you don't want it pulled. So you have to kind of paint over that spot of it bit more detailing here and there. Get down there because that's where it pulled. Now the gold. I did go back and pretty much paint the whole thing again in gold uh, just to get rid of that one spot. Uh, mostly that pulled. Pulled. Oof, words hard. And then the good old, um, after I do that, spots that I missed. And I did the white uh, for the highlighting. Like I did with the Apocalypse group. It seems like it works out very nicely when you want to do that shine look to it. Um, so I had to let that dry a little bit before doing it uh, dry brushing it. And I tried doing it with his hair. Um, I feel like his poor hair. I was trying to figure out what to do with it. So I did the dry brushing. I just did it as is because it didn't look nice uh, when I was trying to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Comment below and subscribe for more Marvel United. Other than that guys, I'll see you next time. Later!